Hi everybody, it's Yum TV at I'm Alo from Alo's Yummy Food. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I want to show you my favorite, literally favorite piroshki recipe. Piroshki is a small sort of bun filled with a filling and the fillings are endless. So that's why I'm showing you this one today because it's filled with cheese and chicken. Honestly guys, it's my favorite combination. You know how much I love cheese and I love chicken and they are sort of incorporated in this warm, soft bun. Oh, please give them to me now. I'll literally eat all of them. I really love this recipe. I hope you try it. And let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite filling for piroshki and I might make them. Okay guys, let's get started! In a small pot add your instant dry yeast, then you want to add sugar, then you want to add warm milk, make sure it's lukewarm, not hot or cold, and mix everything together. Set it aside for 15 minutes. In a different bowl, add your egg, then add your milk, the rest of the milk that we have, sour cream, and then your puffed up dry yeast. So just mix everything together and make sure your yeast is activated. Then finally add butter and mix everything together. You want to make sure everything has incorporated and is completely mixed in. The mixture should look just like this. Next, into your stand mixer, add your plain flour and you're gonna attach a dough hook and then pour your wet mixture into your dry mixture and mix on a low speed until everything is mixed in. You then want to slowly keep adding the wet mixture into your flour mixture and keep mixing and this process will probably take around five to ten minutes if you're kneading this by hand you will need to make sure <laughs> you're ready for some work uh, obviously in the kitchen aid it makes it much easier so the dough should become nice and easy and very very soft so it'd be nice and sticky just like that Guys and girls, I have my recipe on my website at aliceyummyfood.com. You'll find full ingredients and also directions on how to make this. And also you'll be able to find loads of other recipes that I do for my channel. Uh, just click through, click on the picture and you'll be able to see the whole video with the directions and the full recipe in English and Russian languages. Next, add some flour onto your kitchen surface, place your dough and you want to knead it just for a few more seconds with your hands. Add more flour on top, make sure it doesn't stick to you. So just roll it up and down, pressing from both sides and it's very, very nice and soft dough, very easy to work with and I absolutely love it. Very, very delicious. So once you've folded it in several times, it's ready to go and prove. So I've prepared a nice large bowl and I'm adding some olive oil inside. You can add any oil that you have. Uh, the reason for that is when the dough goes up, we want to make sure it's not stuck and it can rise. So just spread your oil around and then add your dough inside and then twist it around from both sides to make sure it's nice and oily. And we'll leave this to proof for about an hour, an hour and a half, depends on your house and how warm it is. So place it into a warm spot. In your food processor, add your onions, then garlic. And you want to blitz this for a few minutes. After that, you want to add your chicken breast. I prefer using chicken breast as it's much leaner, but you can use any chicken parts without the bones that you prefer. Feel free to add any seasoning. I'm using garlic powder, pepper and salt and once it's all mixed in it's ready to go. In a bowl add your cheese and I'm using cheddar cheese but you can use any cheese that you like. Then add your chicken mixture and mix everything together until it's all combined and comes together into a thicker paste like so. Once your dough has proved, you want to take it out, cut it in half and then in half again 
and then you want to take each dough and sort of pinch off a little bit of the dough and roll into a nice ball shape these are going to be a rough size of our piroshki so you want to roll it out add your filling inside i'm using about one tablespoon of the filling and you want to kind of pinch the dough from all the sides and make it into a nice tiny ball and using your fingers you want to make it as thin as possible because we're going to fry them we want to make sure that the filling is cooked throughout so when you kind of pinch it up you want to press with your hands so it becomes this kind of sort of a round shape repeat with all the piroshki and make them same looking and we're going to start frying them very soon Add oil into your pan and you want to add quite a lot of oil to make sure they're kind of half deep fried. Then add your piroshki into hot oil, make sure it's nice and hot, otherwise they will stick to the pan. And you want to place as many piroshki as you can into a single pan and cook them for about 5 minutes on each side. And then gently turn them around and make sure you cook them on a really nice and low medium heat. You don't want to burn these completely once they're nice and golden and it's gonna smell so good in your house i can promise you that you want to place them onto the paper towel and drain them completely so you don't have any fat then serve them onto your decorative plate and enjoy they're so yummy very crispy outside very soft and doughy inside 